In order to learn how to do Nauli, first of all, we should master Udiyana Bandha very well. I wish to remind you that Udiyana Bandha is a vacuum abdomen retraction. Let's try to do it together now. Place your hands on the ribs and inhale deeply. Thereafter, narrow down your ribs. Repeat it several times. I'll show you to help you to understand it better. So we, we breathe in, breathe out, observe attentively what happens with your venture in this position. When you widen your ribs, your venture gets slightly retracted inside. So now no, we'll try to perform next variant with a false inhalation. We do an ordinary inhalation and we widen ribs. Narrow down your ribs. False inhalation. We don't breathe out the air. Now in a cat pose, repeat the same movement. So when you breathe out, round up your back, try to widen your ribs and feel Udiyana Banha. Breathe in, bend down the back, breathe out, round up the back and draw in Udiyana Banha. We take the initial position, our hands are underneath the shoulders. We breathe in, bend down the back, breathe out, round up the back and draw in Udiyana. Once again, breathe in, and we lie down on the back. In this position on the back, we practice Ardhanavasana pose, also called half boat. We are lying on the small of the back, our legs are slightly lifted up, our body is also slightly lifted up like that. Now lie down and relax. Place your hand on the venture and make a deep inhalation by your thorax. Breathe out. Widen your ribs in Udiyana Bandha. Rise up your body from the floor. Descend accurately. Observe that your abdominal muscle is pushed out. Try to repeat it several times. So you do a deep inhalation, exhalation. You draw in Udiyana Bandha. You pull yourself forward. It's quite possible that someone does not feel this effect. If so, relax completely your abdomen. Lift up your shoulders, head and sh legs. After that, rise up your body and descend. Hold your hands in the middle of your abdomen and try to feel which part of you is contracted. Now you should feel this abdomen muscle and in which way it moves forward. Forward and down. Breathe out and down. Feel it. Usually everyone can feel that abdominal muscle moves forward and straightens. Straight forward and breathe out. Forward and breathe out. It was our second exercise. It helped us to feel our abdominal muscle. And now will be our third exercise, Adha Mukha Shvanasana, or Downward Facing Dog. Here we'll do Udiyana Bandha and we'll isolate the abdominal muscle after the exhalation. We'll do it on the breath holding. Let's do it together. It's quite difficult to demonstrate it with the camera, so try to feel it and observe yourself. So you're in downward facing dog, you breathe in, you draw in Udiyana, contract abdomen and push it forward. 
It means that you keep downward facing dog and simultaneously you are contracting your abdomen as if you are slightly rounding up yourself, you lean forward your coccyx. I remind you the contraction you had in half boat exercise when you've been laying on the back and you've been contracting your abdominal muscle. Try to do the same in downward facing dog. You breathe out, you pull up Udiana, contract the abdomen, push ahead the coccyx and you round it up your back and you you push the abdomen forward. After this we'll continue in the standing position. So in the downward facing dog we breathe out, draw in Udiana. And we push forward the abdominal muscle. Now we learn how to isolate the abdominal muscle and to do the nauli. The nauli practice could be divided into three steps. Madhyama nauli, Vama nauli and Dakshina nauli. Madhyama nauli consists in pushing forward the abdominal muscle, while Vama nauli and Dakshina nauli is right hand and left hand rollings. First of all, we should learn how to isolate abdominal muscle. For this, we should stay in the fisherman pose. In this pose, we practice Udiyana Bandha, first of all, and revise it once again. Quite often, people are practicing Udiyana in such way. So their abdomen is contracted, the ribs are visible, however they are able to speak. Attention, if you are able to speak in Udiyana Banha, it means that you are not doing it in a right way. Because while doing Udiyana Banha correctly, you should imply Mula Banha and Jalanhara Banha. That does it implies three Banhas. Due to this, your chin is pressed against your throat and your neck is, is straightened up, so you can't have this position. We'll try to perform Udiyana Bandha correctly. First of all, breathe out. In this position, I can't talk to you. Let's test yourself. If with your abdomen you do this movement correctly, you won't be able to speak because your glottis is blocked. After we've learned how to do Diana Bandha correctly, we do the next movement. You stand in a fisherman pose and you are trying to contract your abdominal muscle. Look here, you should do the forward movement, contract your buttocks and push forward your pelvis. Try to do it now. It is the same movement as in a back bending. Now we'll try to do the same. With already fixed to Diana Banha. Breathe in, breathe out maximally. In this position, it's also important to press with your hands on your hips with the equal force. You push off your hips and you move forward with your body. By this means, your abdominal muscle will be isolated automatically. So try to do it once again without Udiyana Banha. Rest against your hips and push out your pelvis. And now we'll learn how to roll Nauli. When you manage to isolate Nauli, at least initially, you may try to balance your weight from one hand to another. Please look how it works. In the beginning, you may help yourself with your pelvis. You transfer your weight from one leg to another and correspondingly you rotate your pelvis. Thus, if your weight is on the right side, you rotate slightly your pelvis in the right-hand direction. And when you transfer your weight on the left side, you slightly rotate your pelvis in the left-hand direction. The transfer of the weight from one leg to another helps to feel the movement. 
And with the time, your pelvis movements will disappear. When you master this abdomen rolling from one side to another, considering the anatomy of the, of the bowels, you may try to roll it clockwise. What does clockwise mean? It is a rolling towards the right shoulder, so it is a right hand rolling. And this will be our first rolling. After that, we do the counterclockwise rolling. This is a left right hand rolling. Usually we do it in the following way. Several times we roll the abdomen muscle clockwise. Thereafter, we repeat it in a counterclockwise direction and we finish the exercise by the clockwise rollings. If you master already the previous steps, let's do these rollings together. And I would like to speak a bit more about some points which may be helpful for learning now. In general, and it concerns all purifying techniques, we practice it with the empty stomach. Thus, it's preferably to practice Nauli in the morning, after you've drunk some water. The volume of water depends on your weight. It might be half of a glass or a bit more than a half. But the most important is that your stomach would be empty. It happens that some people ate before going to bed. In this case, in the morning their stomach is not e totally empty. Therefore, morning nauli might be difficult to do. Also, nauli practice goes much easier if before doing it you empty your bowels. Instead, if you have some problems with your bowel movement, nauli might be helpful to get rid of this problem. We filmed this Nauli practice lesson within the frame of Yoga at Home project. The objective of the project is to help to the participants and other practitioners who is looking for the information via the Internet to learn such interesting and important technique as Nauli. If you have any questions, please write your comments to this video. Also, I invite you to join our courses Yoga at Home that you can find on our website oum.ru and we offer free courses courses and if you are looking for a regular practice in a group you may subscribe for our courses i'm uh, looking forward to meet you again i wish you success in your practice